true creatures of comfort, the Italian Greyhound is unlike any other breed. Italian Greyhounds are one of those dogs that I would call a Velcro dog, which is they can't think of a place they'd rather be than on your lap. These lap dogs are very cat-like. They love sunbathing and are so intolerant of cold weather or rain that many owners litter box train them. They were basically bred to be companions, dogs that would um, snuggle up close to you and keep you warm. And as with many beautiful, elegant little dogs, they were primarily kept by royalty. Italian greyhounds have graced the royal palaces of Charles I, Catherine the Great, Queen Anne, and Queen Victoria, just to name a few. Frederick II, the great king of Prussia, owned over 50 Italian greyhounds and coined the phrase, the more I see of man, the more I love my dogs. Well, unlike its name, originally these dogs weren't from Italy. Nope, in fact, the Italian Greyhound is believed to have originated in Greece and Turkey more than 2,000 years ago. By the Middle Ages, this pooch was distributed throughout Southern Europe. Often a symbol of wealth, the Italian Greyhound appeared in many paintings throughout the Renaissance. They were a favorite of the Italian aristocrats, and basically, that's how they got the name Italian Greyhound. Weighing an average of six to 10 pounds, they're a miniaturized version of the Greyhound and are the result of selective breeding. They were bred down from Greyhounds, who obviously are very fast dogs, so Italian Greyhounds are very fast. While they can't beat a Greyhound who clocks in at 45 miles per hour, these little guys can run a whopping 25 miles an hour. That's six miles an hour faster than the average pooch. Although rarely used to its capacity, the Italian Greyhound has a deep chest, which gives him great endurance. This is a dog that has immense speed bursts and an immense ability to get out and be robust if it's running. The tail is long and slender and ends in a slight curve. They have very long tails, which when you see them run very quickly, they kind of use it as a rudder to keep their balance and to turn on a dime. In addition to their running skills, the Italian Greyhound also has acute sight and hearing ability. Also called flying ears or propeller ears, the Italian Greyhound has high set ears with dropped tips when they are alert. And their dark expressive eyes can melt the hardest of hearts. Looking into his eyes is more loyal, genuine, and sincere than any woman's eyes I've ever looked into. Todd is the drummer for the popular indie rock group, Shellac. If you haven't heard of them, they're huge in the world of math rock, a hardcore branch of the indie rock scene. They have four albums under their belts, and in the past year, they've toured 24 countries. Shellac members have helped the careers of Nirvana, Cheap Trick, Jimmy Page, and Robert Plant. Todd was one of the founding members. Drums are my passion. When I'm playing the drums, I am 100% occupied with that. Todd is equally passionate about his beloved Italian greyhound, Uffizi, named after Italy's finest museum of art. He's very loyal, very genuine, and a completely spectacular creature, absolutely smashing. And though they may look like an unlikely pair, Todd says they're completely in tune. Uffizi and I are the absolute perfect couple. I feel like we're meant for each other. Excellent Italian greyhound. His fellow bandmates agree. Man, Todd and Uffizi have one of the closest animal-human relationships I think I've ever seen in my life. They're almost the same person. They're really skinny, really energetic, and totally fearless. You want a hot blanket? Todd says Uffizi has fulfilled his life in ways he never imagined. I was a very lonely, single gentleman. From the moment he and I became roommates, I have never experienced a lonely day as long as I've lived with Uffizi. Todd knew he had a deep connection with Uffizi, but he had no idea that the dog would soon unleash his own inner rock star. When I began drumming, Uffizi was very excited and invigorated by this, and he too decided that was playtime for him. Soon, it became their routine. I would bring Uffizi with me into the recording studio. We would have an absolute free-for-all. Before long, Uffizi became the inspiration behind the band's latest release. Whenever Uffizi would do something that pleased Todd, he would praise him by telling him he was an excellent Italian greyhound. And it became a little slogan for us. The band decided that there was no better title for their album. If the record's named Excellent Italian Greyhound and it was based on Uffizi, 
what's going to be on the cover. Of course, we're going to have a great photo of Uffizi. It's hard to fathom or imagine anything more smashing or spectacular than Uffizi on the cover of our record. Uffizi's it. He's exquisite. When Todd is not rocking out on the drums, he likes to sing songs to Uffizi. One of my personal favorite enjoyments is to serenade Uffizi. He loves when I play guitar and sing to him. I would like to think that Uffizi is my biggest fan. Excellent Italian Greyhound. Though Uffizi makes a wonderful gentle pet for his dad Todd, he probably wouldn't be best in households with rambunctious children or active dogs due to his timid nature. Ideal environment for this dog, in my opinion, would be a single person living with this dog or a couple without children. Italian greyhounds live up to 15 years and are an exceptionally healthy breed. However, they must be safely confined when unsupervised for the first 12 to 18 months. Until their bones are fully developed, you need to be very careful that they don't jump off the couch or the bed because they could fairly easily break a leg. Training should start early since this breed has a tendency to be shy in temperament and high strung. My emphasis with these guys is always on introducing them to the world, socializing them with other dogs and children. Yay! Italian greyhounds can sometimes be hard to recall due to their strong prey drive, so they should always be on a leash in open areas. This is the dog, if he gets away from you and he bolts, you're not gonna catch him. Italian Greyhound's smooth, close coat sheds very little hair and produces almost no odor. I don't think you could find a dog that's easier to groom than an Italian Greyhound. They're basically just wash and wear. But that short, single coat also means they're a dog you need to keep warm in cold weather. If you're in a cold climate with them, I would definitely be putting booties and, and warm coats on them. So, in general, the Italian Greyhound is highly sensitive to cold weather. They have delicate bones and should be confined when unsupervised. These dogs are one of the easiest to groom. Socialization should start early. And they fare best in households without lively children. The Italian Greyhound is the most amazing, magnificent, spectacular creature I have ever laid my eyes on.